see it fail. It took them all. Still took more of them. So I've been designing armor paneling to be far superior to that than even the fictional Batman character. So I'm not only trying to make armor that can stop sniper rounds, but also be able to be moldable, make sure it stops spall, minimal back face deformation, all of that. So these plates weigh, this one weighs about nine pounds, so it's pretty chunky, um, but it is quite large. So it's like 10 and a half inches, 10 by 10. When you're wearing this, it really doesn't feel like much. Um, and they will be going around like my spinal battery that I've got back there. I'm gonna be making a version two of that with a lot more redundancies um, to be able to power peripherals and things like that as I keep building this gear. So I designed these to not only take one high caliber round like a 300 Winchester Magnum, but it took two 300 Winchester Magnums, two one ounce shotgun slugs, plenty of 5.56 green tip, so those have a steel penetrator core. So this one in particular with that steel lattice core was a massive success and an absolute beast. I could not believe how much energy this was able to absorb. So basically this one here, I painted green on the core and it's got green buckles. This has the composite decoupler and then this one with the red buckles and the red paint on the core is the steel decoupler. Same sort of lattice structures that I designed in my 3D printed bulletproof video where I was using just regular plain cheap resin and use it to stop a 22. So I picked my best one there and had PCB way 3D print a whole panel out of steel. Now YouTubers always recommend save the bang for the end, keep the reviewers watching, but I've never been into the clickbait kind of crap or trying to manipulate my viewers. So let's get right into what you guys want to see, which is all the tests. So let's do that now and we'll talk about the sciencey stuff after. Today we're shooting not just the sniper obliterator panels, um, but we're also doing the how to build your own red hood plate. So that's my most requested video so far. So that is in the works. And then I also had some DIY ballistic glass I was testing. Um, so if you wanna see when those two come out this fall, do subscribe. And then also don't try any of this at home. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Do not try to replicate. Now to give you a bit of insight into the energy of this 300 Win Mag, we lined up all of the ballistic glass samples that I had for the day. We were just shooting these with nine millimeter for demo testing. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> but the 300 tore through all of them, the plywood backer, and it still had plenty of energy left as it bored through the back of that 2x3 there. And then here's another example of just shooting the clay in front of a cinder block. So again, it's giving you a little bit of that headspace of how much energy we're trying to stop in just 30 millimeters. Yep, lattice core, got it tensioned up here. Pull around, hold that up here. Looks pretty good. Uh, <laughs> the screen, bro. I don't see anything. Hold on. It's gonna bounce off? Hold on, hold on. Dude, it's- Holy sh shit, there it is. <laughs> yes. Holy oh, Dude, I'm so worried. It's totally Caleb, flat. Oh my god. <laughs> flat. That's amazing. Wow. All right. <laughs> That's incredible. And it's not delaminated at all. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. All right. So, same round, 220 grain. We're going to go upper left. Right there. Oh, there's smoke. Smoke. It might have, it might have come through. Oh wait, uh, dude, it's right there. I mean, still pretty impressive. It actually stopped it. No, it did stop it. Yeah. it it's right there. Yeah, it just left a big dent it like is. the other it's, test yep, did. It's yep. right there and there's little powders. Uh, so, but I know that this core and all the carbide in here, Yeah. because there's so much energy right between this thing that that was like It's really, crazy. Oh, that's hot, it's hot, hot. Green tip, steel penetrator. Got a few rounds here. Go ahead and fire this off. So it's in line with the other two, right here. And then, uh, oh yeah, it's silly me. It's really on there. Yeah. Okay. So you wanna swing around? We're good. Nice, nice and flat. We're gonna be doing these. Really. Okay. Yes. And right through here. And nothing at all. Nice and smooth. Two and three quarter inch, full one ounce slug. <laughs> Massive. Hold oh, on. Yeah. Let's see. That's so much. It went through for sure. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, it didn't, God. but it stopped it. Dude. So, and that's pretty close to the edge. Now also, I'd like to do another show of power, essentially, um, how much just one of these one ounce slugs have. Oh, isn't it crazy that it stopped that? Oh my God. And this plate proceeded to take two of these after it already was shot with two 300 wind mag. Slug, two and three quarters, same one that I did before. We're gonna hit it again, a little bit lower. Okay. <laughs> and it did. So. Oh my god. And it went right next to where the 300 wind mag was. Holy crap! So it took a 300, and the one ounce slug. So it's 10 mil. And as soon as we've been shooting here. Still clear. And this is still not a penetration. That was just the original 300, so totally clear. Green tips again. Sorry, green tips. Yep. Yep. I'm trying to see it fail. It took them all. It still took more <laughs> of them. Oh, Lord. It's got so many in here, fail. too. And here's a candid shot of me reforming the clay. And so now we're just trying to break through. So I'm using another 300 Winchester Magnum. Same one as before. This is the third round after shooting it with everything else. Oh. Okay, God, you can feel that. Clear. Jeez. Clear. Yep, that's what did it. Wow. So we can stop the test there. This took way oh. more than I expected. How do you feel? Feels great. I like how <laughs> thick it got. Like it swelled up. How much do you think it grew? Way thicker. Well, the, the pouch was loose before. Like, you saw it when I was yeah, watching. Yeah, it was all wrinkly. Yeah, it was all wrinkly. are tight now. Yep, it was all wrinkly. We already shot the steel core lattice structure. This one's a composite core, like we've seen. It's got the green spray paint on it, the green buckles. Same round, 220 grain. Already got a little bit of a swell there. But if we look behind it, same as before, actually. Similar wow. results, just a little bit of a dent. It came in right next to the other one. Dang. Right next to it. Let's see what happened. Oh, dang it, it went through. Oh. So this one doesn't seem to have taken repeated hits as well as the other right. one. Right. Oh, so that one went oh low. It <laughs> diverted into the tape. <laughs> Dang That's it. okay. It's cause okay. it's shooting. That's uh, crazy. It's cause it's shooting low, and so I was, I was <laughs> missing off target here. Yeah. Dang it. That's, <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, sorry about the table. <laughs> it's okay. I'll shoot a couple more, but I'm gonna aim like up here. I'll load these up here. That was what five or six? I think six. Yep, so it stopped those, which is good. Mm -hmm. It's still a great plate. It's just that that second 300 wind mag yeah. was just so close. Just too much. Just too close. Just... Yep. It kicks like crazy with these slugs. All right. Come out. Nope, it stopped it. There's oh a big dent, God. but it stopped it. Yeah. So, <laughs> kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Stopped it. Took it. 10 millimeter. Just keep it. And, uh, yep, no penetration. Oh, there we go. Oh. So it went through where the 300 was. Oh, okay. But it did go through here too, spot. but then that's where the, I think, oh yeah, both 300s were here, right? They were close together. Yep. So it's failing where those were. Yeah. Which makes sense. A little positive test there. I mean, it still did awesome. It took a whole bunch of, 
like a scythe in that second round. Yeah. And I will be posting on here later each of my unedited clips. So basically firing the round to showing the plate and back again all in one cut just to show that I wasn't trying to swap the plates, do any sort of funny business. So again, I was genuinely not expecting this to take that 300 Winchester Magnum because I got the gnarliest round that I could. It was a jacketed 220 grain round going, I believe, 3,000 feet per second. Basically calculated out, it was 3,500 foot pounds of energy, which is just quite a beast to stop. And to take two, I mean, that was more than I could ask for. Now taking this apart, I didn't realize how damaged these tiles were, and it was still taking those 556 five, rounds just fine, which is incredible. And surprisingly, the lattice didn't have nearly as many holes as I expected. You can, you can see how deformed it is. It very much was deflecting and bending as it was being hit, which is basically what it was for. It's supposed to be an energy sponge. But there are a few notable large holes, which I'm certain are the 300 Win Mag, as well as those slugs. One of those slugs you can see was totally peeled out and it was sitting there cupped on the surface of that lattice. Oh. So the backer panel actually held up surprisingly well. So there's very little actual damage here. You can see some of the spread out dust and whatnot from those impacts, but very few rounds actually got all the way through to begin drilling into this back panel. It's still quite flat. The only two serious holes here are from that 300 Win Mag. So the main structural difference is again, that this is that steel lattice core. Similar to what I designed in that last video, these are able to disperse energy very effectively because you're essentially allowing space inside the structure to be able to deform and absorb energy. And because of that, it's able to support that carbide front a lot more effectively because we could absolutely shoot in that same area and not have those penetrations occur. The composite didn't do as well. The second 300 Win Mag did blow through it. They were a little bit closer together than these two were, um, but it was clear because the 556 was able to get through this guy in that lower corner faster than this one was. So this one is a clear winner. Really cool to see that one of my designs, my theories of using this steel lattice actually panned out, it actually worked. And again, this was PCBWay's metal service. This was my first SLS metal print, just making it a really cool material to be able to work with. So PCBWay had manufactured it in just a couple days. And then I got my tracking information and a few days later, it was at my doorstep. So I did wanna say thanks to PCBWay for helping sponsor this video. So as far as these specs go, these are 10 inch by 10 inch plates. The composite weighed less, coming in at just 8.2 pounds while being 32.75 millimeters thick. And the lattice core was 9.06 pounds and 33.38 millimeters. So this one was slightly thicker and slightly heavier as well. And really the weight difference came from that lattice core. It was over a half a pound more than just the composite decoupler that I had made. So that's that would account for um, the discrepancy seen there. But I would say that extra half a pound over this whole space is definitely worth it considering how much better this is able to handle those impacts than the composite one. This is henchman number two. John is unpackaging the block. So a lot of times you can just use standard epoxy, but what happens is it cracks. So if you look here, I'm shooting a plate with a 5.7, just testing these adhesives, and I've got some silicon carbide tiles. And you'll notice with a traditional, regular, strong epoxy, it pops right off, it breaks, that impact is too strong, it just snaps and your parts go flying everywhere. So you can do a different curing process and additives to make this much better at handling those impacts. Clear. Yeah, no, it's legitimate goon work. It's not... You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, these plates are directional. They're intended to be shot from this face going inwards because it's designed to handle the bullet in various stages as it's being stopped just like a traditional level four plate would be. Now there is a composite face on this, which I designed to be able to stop most small arm rounds. So 357, nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, things of that nature. This would stop before it ever touched the carbide. So unlike a lot of ceramic level four plates where the ceramic is exposed. So if you were to shoot it with a lower caliber round, it would shatter. Now it's vulnerable to a rifle attack. That's not the case with these. You could shoot it with a bunch of those lower caliber rounds and then it would proceed to be happily taking those green tip 556. Now I did build the core separately and I 3D printed out of polycarbonate this flood fill like retention wall, which has these little gaps in it intentionally spaced so that while it's being pressed and it's curing, it's able to actually expand and go through those little holes so that the end product is really condensed with no gaps between each of the parts. I then bonded that with the backer and the front composite all in a vacuum to make a nice solid piece that I could then sand and polish and smooth off pretty well. 
This whole thing was then wrapped in a single layer of ballistic nylon and a single layer of Kevlar. So that's not providing any ballistic protection whatsoever, but it is acting as a very strong pouch to hold everything together with the elastic straps, as you can see, because it did, as I've shown before, get quite thick and pull that very tight. And I did a lot of stitches here. So there's a ton of stitches to make sure that it didn't just rip through all the stitching and unravel. So, I mean, with just these, Thankfully, I don't have to keep iterating. I can just get right to building the suit because these are better than I'd even hoped for. So with the channel actually growing like it has been, I was able to fund one of these plate builds, not both, but one of them with revenue just from the YouTube channel, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I just fund this with my day job. So having it start to pay is really awesome. I don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars like some YouTubers have at their disposal. Um, and this is not me asking for money. Don't donate, that's not what I'm doing. This is me basically just saying thanks for watching. I seriously appreciate it. And if you wanna continue supporting the channel for free, this is where a like or subscribe or a comment below um, definitely helps. And then if you wanna see the full video on how to be able to build your own like bullet resistant cosplays like this here, um, I'll hopefully be releasing that in a couple weeks. So I will see you guys then.